Hey everybody, we're back with Tile Toria Trends and I'm talking to the one and only Kerry McGregor. Hello. How's it Kerry? Hi, how's it going Ryan? Ah, lick it, lick, lick it have you back in Cape Town. Yes, after relocated spending... after many years. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, and now doing a bit of home renovation. Yes, we have embarked upon a massive renovation. I'm not even entirely sure. We should have just... You're looking good as <laughs> somebody who's going through a lot. Yo, it has been quite a journey. We are in full destruction mode at the moment, yeah. so it's not pleasant being on site. Um, we actually should have bulldozed the whole thing down and started again. But anyway, we're too late for that. Uh, yeah, so it's been an exciting journey and an exciting relocation back home. And I I'll love following the journey. At the max.home, you'll find out the entire process of this rejuvenation yes. of this place that you've bought. Yes. And it looks amazing. It's going to be exquisite. It's going to be totally exquisite when it's done. Yeah. And um, it's in a beautiful position and it's got beautiful views. And we are, yeah, we're going to maximize the Newlands light as much as we can. Yeah. We've designed a house that, you know, that maximizes that solar gains, that last drop of sunlight before it goes yes. behind the mountain. We've yeah. got beautiful big windows. Um, so it's going to be amazing. Yeah, you very are exciting. such a natural when it comes to interior design. I mean, I've known you for forever. Basically, we've known very each other our time. whole lives, basically. <laughs> and, and, but you've always had a good eye for detail and a, an eye for detail. And it's not only you. I think it's a genetic thing because your family, your mom, yeah. your dad, they've got great eyes yes. when it comes to, to, eyes, to yeah. detail uh, and design. And so, where does that, uh, that, that, that love and that passion come from? I mean, where is it? Is it something, like I said, that's genetic? Or is it something that you just, you know, you either have or you don't? I think, you know, I think you either have it or you don't. Yeah. I mean, I've, you know my husband. Yeah. I mean, I've got to basically paint him a picture. <laughs> Show him what it looks like. This is what I've yeah, seen. So you do get, I suppose people that are visual and people that are yeah. creative and people that aren't, you know, yeah. and it's not, a, it's just, and we, I just love it. I love beautiful things. I love being surrounded by beautiful yes. things. Yeah. So, um, yeah, being able to live in a beautiful home with gorgeous finishes, luxurious feeling. Um, yeah, that's really a, a kind of one of the things that ticks my boxes, you nice. know? Nice. And it's got to yeah. feel like a home. I mean, that's the important yes. thing is that you're living in this space and whether it's a, uh, a space where you're eating or a space where the family's playing, it's a space. Yes. And every space is important. And I'm going to talk about some of the choices that you've made here. We're at Tile Toria and this is actually a great one-stop shop for a lot of things. Yes. A lot of people will go, okay, I'm going to come along just to get maybe tiles or get... But when you walk through the shop, no, it's quite overwhelming. I know, it is quite a choice. what you have to be able to choose from. You can yes. almost finish your entire home just in the store. <laughs> it is. Let's take a little walk. We've yes. started over here near this magnificent, uh, behind us over here, uh, uh, a wallpaper that's made of denim, believe it or not. And from that, I Beautiful mean, let's just textures, take... Yeah. yeah, textures. Let's take a look at some of those textures, some of the kind of fittings that, 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 that tickle your fancy. Yeah, I think I aim for a... Muted, cool color palette is okay. my general kind of design aesthetic that I love. I okay. don't necessarily have a design style that I like. Right. I think I lean towards contemporary, maybe a hint of Scandi, maybe a little mid-century modern, maybe a little California cool. I, I I'm a little love confused. It. I love it. Um, but at the end of the day, as you said, it's a family home. I yes. want it to feel engaging and yeah. inviting and comfortable. And I don't want to have anything in there that feels too precious. You Got know, you. you want it just yeah. to be a comfortable Lived. space for family to live in. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. and obviously something that's timeless as well. Absolutely. Um, I mean, you want to not have to every year have no. to go back to the drawing board Even and go... I want to do it every do year, do. I'm not going to be allowed to do it every year, so I need to make it last. Yeah, absolutely. And then, again, spoiled for choice here. Um, yeah. um, there, there's something, and just looking around us, the different textures, the different yeah. uh, kind of a feel, and you want a home that has a tactile experience about it too. When you see something that looks uh, like the texture is slightly different yeah. from the norm it's 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 quite nice and and for somebody visiting that space it's often a, a quite a, a, a nice conversation piece because they walk into a given area and they go what is this yeah oh, this yeah, is you amazing want, you want to make a statement in your home with yes. your design style whatever it is that you choose to do yeah. you know you want to make statements in in areas that are special for you so i think to kind of Go with trends and follow trends is great, but you've also got to know that that is something that you would be able to live with for yes. a long time. Yeah. You know, to be able to. So that's, I think, for me, quite important is that whatever we decide to choose, our final choices, yeah. which I'm gonna, which I'm having some trouble with at Tauteria, <laughs> to be honest with you. But once I've got those kind of nailed down, I yes. want to be able to live in them for a while. You know? We're in a special space here. Is there anything from this specific space? I'm that loving you've... this new terrazzo style, oh. and I think it'd be so great in bathrooms. It will be, and again, yeah. another conversation piece. Loving it. It's very on trend now, this terrazzo. Different yes. styles of terrazzo, different colors of terrazzo, they are everywhere. Um, 
So I'm loving this idea for some, for the kids' bathrooms. So yes. I've got a few bathrooms. I've got a few bathrooms to fit out. So sure. um, yeah, when you I'm say a few, I think I'm out like one bathroom would be enough for me to be no. keep me awake at night. When you've got a couple, yeah. you're trying to keep you've a theme, a but at the same time change up the vibe because yes. different characters in the family have different kind of needs. And Absolutely. when they, and when eventually when they leave the nest, it's still got to speak, you know, yes. to the to the space. Yes, absolutely. So we've got, three, I've got three kitties. So. <laughs> Some of them aren't those aren't kitties anymore. No, I know, they don't feel like, like kitties. I know, it's are. terrifying, it's terrifying. But yes, I think that's the idea is that you obviously got different personalities yeah. in different spaces and you want to, you know, if a, the girl's bathroom needs a softer tap fitting yes. or, uh, you know, yeah. Luke's, my son's bathroom can yeah. have something a bit more masculine and a got bit you. more, he's a teenager, yeah. you know, he might be there until he's 30, I don't 40. know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we both know 40 year olds watching this that are still with their moms. Exactly, exactly. So he's got to be able to potentially live in that bathroom for a while and yeah. you've got to be able to suit him for a while to come still. So yeah. I love it. I love that you're sharing this journey with everyone again at the max.home. Uh, that is where you'll find the latest uh, kind of a, you know, trends from not only about for, for the build, but also from somebody who's really, really in tune with what's happening, not only currently, uh, but just with, with design trends in general. And I love to see that about you. It's opened up a whole, I'm, I'm, I know what's going to happen as soon as the house is finished. You're going to get this I'm request from so many. Of but besides that though, you're going to get this load of requests from people going, please come I've got a project for you. Yes, I've got another little fine. project and another little project and it's going to grow. <laughs> I'm very happy to do that. I actually, about six years ago, I, saw, I opened my own interior design yes. company yeah. up in Joburg. Joburg so yeah. it is something that I love to do um, and it is always an available option for me. It's I just love trying that. to find the time right now. <laughs> we'll wait till <laughs> you finish I'm managing this. my monster project. But anyway, yes, I'll be there. I, I love it. Thanks for being a part of this journey with us and we'll be chatting again to yes. carry about the next step and following the journey very closely. Like like, subscribe and be a part of the future of Taltoria trends and for the latest in Taltoria trends get to taltoria.ca today. Take care. Thanks Kiri. Bye. <laughs>